Hey, today marks the average date that Colorado snowpack peaks and spring runoff begins. And joining us in the studio now is meteorologist Alex O'Brien with a preview of what the rest of the year is going to bring for water in Colorado. Right, so spring runoff is projected to be slightly below normal, very similar to 2021. And drought conditions have been relatively stable. Snowpack did all right this year, but this is a very narrow view on a much larger and drier picture. Over the past 30 days in Colorado, much of the eastern plains saw above average precipitation. The western slope, however, was very dry in March. Winter snowfall in Colorado Springs and Pueblo was normal this year, despite a very late start to the season. Zoom out, the picture gets worse. The western United States is bone dry. It was the third driest March on record in the U.S. The culprit, La Nina. You occasionally will get some bigger storms, especially here in eastern Colorado, even in La Nina years. But generally speaking, statewide, it's been since really October, November, we've kind of had a lot less out on the west slope due to the, just the La Nina setting up and really taking hold across the region. The past two La Nina winters have exasperated the most extensive and severe drought of the past two decades. In Colorado, drought has improved since December, yet 100% of the state remains under some level of drought. Snowpack is holding steady around 91% of normal. Now spring runoff begins, which will replenish rivers and groundwater. Let's follow the water. Blue Mesa Reservoir, Colorado's largest body of water fed by snowmelt, runs through Colorado's second largest river. Gunnison River is a major tributary of the Colorado River, which in turn fills Lake Powell. Blue Mesa Reservoir is 29% full and Lake Powell is 24% full. After spring runoff, Blue Mesa is expected to rise to 83% of normal July levels. Lake Powell will only rise to 64% of normal. Water is shared between the two bodies, regulated by the Colorado River Compact. I mean, we are a headwater state, so a lot of the snowpack we get in the spring you know, helps feed you know, the, the streams and rivers throughout the western U.S. And we are required to pass water down. We can't store it all in Colorado. It would be, probably be a little too greedy for us to do so. So there are requirements, so federal requirements, that we have to release water all throughout the year based on water demands and who has those rights to that water coming through those rivers and streams. So ideal spring snow melt occurs when temperatures gradually warm into summer. Periods of heat can rapidly melt snow and shorten the time frame of water availability. And strong winds or dry weather can evaporate the snow, preventing it from melting into our watershed. Allison.